Good morning, my lovelies. It's Mitch here. I'm just coming on to do Monday's guidance reading. Um, apologies, this reading is a little bit later today. I have had a busy old morning doing different bits and pieces. And I've shortly got to go over to the vets because my lovely little dog needs to have his anal glands expressed. He needs a little bum squeeze today. So it's a day of uh, doing bits and pieces and admin and all different stuff. It's a practical doing day today. Um, so that's all fun. So I just want to say a huge, huge thank you to everybody that came to my uh, Walking with Spirit workshop on Saturday in Trowbridge. It was an absolutely beautiful day. It was amazing. You guys had some beautiful links with the spirit world, some amazing messages. So you know who you are. If you took part in that, thank you. Thank you so much. And I was very, very lucky on um, Saturday because I got gifted from one of the uh, the people that were on the course as a little thank you, this new deck, which is the Rooted Woman Oracle. And this is by Sharon Blakely um, with artwork by Hannah Willow. And I had my eye on this deck for a little while. And then just as I was about to leave, she said, thank you for being such an amazing mentor and for such a cool day. And she just gifted me this deck, which was so unexpected but so, so lovely. So thank you very much. So I'm going to attempt to work with it today. I haven't really had a chance to sort of play with it. So obviously bear with me. So we'll sort of see what happens. But these are the cards. Beautiful, beautiful. Let's give them a knock. Let's give them a shuffle. Let's see where the energy is taking us for this Monday and the coming week ahead. So channel in these cards for the highest of good. Let's just see where the energies are taking us. Oops. Okay, I'm just asking Spirit, what do we need to know about what is the message for this week? Oh, okay. So interesting. So the card that's come up is Forest. And it just says here, finding the path. Now, this is really interesting because a lot of people that I've been talking to lately, uh, whether it be clients or friends or just acquaintances, a lot of people, I think, are feeling a little bit stuck. A lot of people are feeling a little bit um, like they're just sort of stabbing in the dark. A lot of people at the moment feel like they're winging it. And to me, the forest card is all about kind of going into Mother Earth. It's going into nature and it's just releasing. It's just shedding. It's just being OK being you, essentially, because, you know, the woods, the forest, it's a great place to detach from the pressures, the anxieties, the manipulations of, of life. And sometimes I think there is so much chaos and pressure and just overwhelmment that is placed upon us. We often do just feel quite caught up in stuff. And, and this finding the path is, is a little bit like the hermit card in the conventional tarot. So even though they're on this sort of track, to me, it's almost like the road ahead is quite clear. It's quite straightforward. And they're holding this little lantern. And I think this is being brave enough to walk your personal track of life, to walk your independent path forward and to not feel fearful doing that, to not sort of worry about how other people are going to perceive that journey to be. When we were doing the workshop um, on Saturday, the links with spirit were amazing and were really powerful. And, you know, a lot of the, the stuff that was getting talked about and mentioned was actually the fear of persecution, the fear of how people are going to respond to sort of, you know, embracing this mediumship and everything else and the, the spiritual gifts these people have available. And it's learning to be OK. It's learning to be at peace really deep, really internally, on a really, really sort of like deep um, foundation of your inner core to spirit, really, to your spirit, I want to say with that. So this like finding the path, I feel like really a lot of us know where we are or where we want to be. A lot of us are not stuck. A lot of us are just lacking giving ourselves permission or acceptance that we're allowed and that we're good enough to have the experiences that we seek, that we want whether those be around maybe a job, a career path, could be, I don't know, something with a relationship, could be to do with so many things. I don't know. You'll know in your personal world. But if you're denying yourself something for fear of like how others are going to perceive you or you're worried about how you're going to be seen, keep it real. Even if it means you're on this path alone and this sort of like lantern is glowing, as long as you have 
your own sort of spark of life. And as long as you know, you know, your intentions are pure and good, that kind of will guide you forward to where you need to be. And I think like this is a very confusing year for a lot of people. And I think so, like I've talked quite a lot in videos about things like the weather making people feel crappy and other stuff, you know, and just obviously we've recently had the, um, you know, the elections and that's been a huge thing for people. There's been so much heaviness and there's been a lot of stuff that people are holding and carrying. And I think sometimes it's blocking people from the true story of where they're meant to be going. So this is sort of pulling back into your own spirit and really feel connected with where is your heart guiding you at this time? What are you wanting to do? Not what other people would like you to be doing or what the expectations are from the outside world. Where do you feel guided in your heart to go, to travel? What do you feel guided to experience? So finding the path, I think a lot of us are already on the path, but sometimes I think maybe we're putting obstacles in the way that possibly don't even exist always, you know? And we can only be ourselves. we can only be real, we can only be authentic. And I think there's a real focus on being okay with being you. I mean, I've had it recently where I've had one lady recently said that she doesn't feel my shows are particularly value for money um, and that they've got too expensive. Well, my shows have actually been the same price for many years now. The only difference is in some of the bigger theatres, I'm having to maybe put an extra three pounds onto the ticket price. But actually, I haven't changed my prices. And when I look around to see what a lot of other mediums are doing price wise, and this is not to sort of slag off any other mediums because they're all great at what they do. But there are some people out there sort of charging £18, £20, £25 for a ticket. So I think at £12.50, my shows are actually good value for money. I always try to make sure that the venues are beautiful and as lovely as they can be and that the whole setup and that the whole night is as fabulous as it can be and we get to a point where it's out of our hands it's out of our control we can only be who we are how we're perceived how we're judged by others it's almost like detaching from it and it not even needing to become our business so if that person feels that way about my work that's really unfortunate that they feel that way but i can't change that mindset and it's like I send you love, go and do your thing, off you go and be fab, you know, and, and do your journey and I will continue doing mine. And that's kind of what it comes down to. So finding the path, keep moving forward, even if sometimes things do feel a bit confusing or even if we're not always sure, very often the path will show itself when we start walking the track. This a little bit reminds me of like the yellow brick road from The Wizard of Oz. And, you know, it's that whole thing of we've had the power all the time. We just had to go through the loops, you know, the, the sort of the loopholes and everything to believe in the power. Because if we were sort of presented with it, first of all, we wouldn't have valued it. It feels that sort of message to me. So I hope you can make sense of this. Quite an interesting one this week. So I'm going to leave that card with you. I hope it resonates. So stay safe, stay fabulous, have a beautiful uh, week ahead. What do I need to talk to you about? A couple of <clears throat> cheeky shouts. So this coming Friday, you can catch me over in Trowbridge at Colour and Crystals from six o'clock until nine o'clock, where I would be doing some private one-to-one -one readings, which will include tarot with mediumship. So if you're interested in booking a session there, just pop Joe a message on the Colour and Crystals Trowbridge um, page and she can get you booked in and then Sunday I'm really really mega excited for the next date of my spirit magic tour so I'm over in Froome doing an audience with an evening of mediumship it's going to be amazing Foxy's Den tickets are still available we're over halfway sold out now um, it'd be lovely to see you there this will be the only demo that I'm doing in Froome this year so if you want to come along if you want to support that that would be fabulous. The guys at Foxy's always make me feel loved. They always make me feel special. Um, and this is what I mean. It is a beautiful, um, safe space. Safe for me, but it's also safe for the public. So I really do try to sort of like give people some beautiful uh, nights. But again, you can only do what you can do. But for those that do support my work and do believe in my worth, thank you so, so much. If you don't anymore, that's unfortunate, but you know, when no one's here, uh, you know, that doesn't need to be. We're, we all have our own free will to make our decisions. But for those that do support my work, thank you very much. Keep shining bright, stay fabulous, and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.